No kid has a good idea of what cancer is. It's not something you would ever expect to happen to your child. Pediatric cancer affects 13,500 children in the U.S. each year, including 11-year-old Alec Ingram. He broke his arm in April. It took a month to figure out the real diagnosis. Um, it wasn't healing correctly. When Alec's family realized something more serious was wrong than just a broken arm, they immediately sent him to Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital for x-rays and tests. He was scared because, you know, little kids, when they hear cancer, they automatically think, oh my gosh, like, I'm going to die. Like, you know, this isn't good. But he was confident about it. You know, like, he, he knew that it was going to be okay. If it wasn't for God himself, us being able to have our faith and rely on prayer and knowing that he's going to be okay and having that faith, I don't know where we would be. After weeks of chemo, the doctor found a way to remove the cancer from his arm, but under one condition. There you go, and you feel that? At that point, we were told that he may lose his arm. Yeah? No, why do you have an arm? Because of prayers. Um, by the grace of God, his arm was saved, <laughs> and he, he went into surgery um, not knowing himself if he was going to wake up having an arm. But he was as positive as any, any of us. Thank you for praying for me. God is good, isn't he? After going through this situation, Jennifer has some words of advice. To live and to enjoy every day like there is no tomorrow. You never know what's going to happen from one minute to the next. Um, so love like there's no tomorrow and live like there's no tomorrow. That's my advice. Alec is still fighting his cancer and undergoing treatments to make sure it doesn't spread into other areas of his body. To help other children like Alec, you can donate to the Cancer Society at cancer.org. To help Alec Ingram directly, you can go to Shop 320 or the Experience Church in Washington and tell them you want to donate to the Alec Ingram Fund. For Blue Jay Journal TV, I am Krista Mittler, reporting.